All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be reacting to Lexi's video that she dropped yesterday. As you guys can see, this video already has 53,000 views. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this video by now. This is actually the first time I'm watching this and reacting to it. So we're going to get right into it, folks. Your, your, uh, your girlfriend's going to get very upset. I don't have a girlfriend. I have a book. Yes, I can't believe I am doing this, but I am. Um, it's just gone too far, and I'm, I feel like I'm just too good of a person to, like, just keep silent. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get into this. Um, I'm gonna try not to cry <laughs> as much as I can. Oh, so she's already starting off with the crying, man. I don't know, man. The setup looks real professional, man. The white background. You got some, what is that, flowers or whatever? Yeah, it looks like roses. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this is CJ So Cool's house. And she just found a nice little spot where she can record bright, you know, like I said, the white background. And she starts off crying, right? Because that's the hook. She has to get you... She has to get you hooked on right from the start. So crying easily gets people hooked because it's emotional. You know, you know how women get. But just bear with me and I'm just going to say my piece. And um, yeah, I'm going to do my best. But I'm just going to continue being the good person that I've always been. I had to go get a roll of toilet paper because I don't have tissue. I normally don't cry. Yeah, so I am here and I have my <laughs> journal here because I want to make sure I touch base on all the points. You know, like when you're in an argument and after the argument it all simmers down and then you're just sitting there in bed thinking, of, dang, I should have said this, dang, I should have said this, dang, I should have said this. I won't feel like that because I have it all written down. Listen, I am pretty... Damn, she has it all written down? Damn, she quickly turned into a Karen, man. She's got, what, every single statement that CJ So Cool said written down, like, for what? What is she, like, keeping, like, records of this stuff for, like, in case she has to, like, file a police report or, or turn into a police investigator herself? Like, that is weird, man. She's turning into a Karen already, but we already knew that, all right? We already knew that CJ So Cool, man. This is what you get. Appreciate the support that everyone has given me through everything. They have always been there for me. Y'all, I love you guys. Um, this is the only video you will get out of me um, talking about any past situations. This is the only video, but I just have to make sure I say my piece just so not everyone can tell their side of the story and then me just stay silent and just let everyone talk. It's it's not happening anymore. Honestly, I can't even see because my tears are so ugh. But yes, um, I am just as upset as y'all. Um, yes, CJ's lawyer did tell him to maybe try to collaborate and make amends, which is totally fine because at the end of the day, they do have children together and I will always understand that. But that doesn't mean me and the mother of the children need to communicate or make amends. Uh, we could be cordial. I'm cordial with everyone. Uh, I would just always respect everyone's children no matter what. So I've always been like that from the jump too. I think that's the very mature thing about me. Being a 25 year old, I have always been standoffish and let kind of everyone do their thing and me stay silent in most situations but I just can't do that anymore. And to begin with, I'm going to make this very clear. Royalty, if you are watching this, I will not go back and forth with you. You are mentally hurting, physically hurting. I just will not argue with someone who is almost 10 years older than me, and I can't seem to wrap my head around why I would go back and forth with a mother of five who lives with their mother in a two-bedroom apartment. Wow. Wow, 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 wow already throwing shots at royalty this is how you can tell like like i said i mean my first impressions even even knowing that lexi dropped the video at this time like as soon as this case or whatever is over between cj so cool and royalty it's just good timing for her to drop a video to continue the drama right because that's what cj so cool needs he needs more drama 
to survive on the YouTube streets because his channel is sinking. His channel is sinking. It's right below 5%. All right, he is in the red zone. The only other people I know in that red zone are like Cali Muscle. Like, they're sinking badly. So they need the drama. I knew this shit is fake. All right? It's so scripted. She's already throwing... Why would you throw shots at royalty if this is your video? This is your goodbye video, all right? Talk about you. Why would you start off taking shots at royalty? That don't make no sense to me. But... Let's just keep going. Let's let's keep listening. I think that's illegal, but I just, I just, we just can't. That's illegal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's talking about Lexi. I mean, she's talking about royalty. Lives in a two bedroom. The police, the Karen in her man. She sound like a Karen. Who is almost ten years older than me, and I can't seem to wrap my head around why I would go back and forth with a mother of five who lives with their mother in a two-bedroom apartment. I think that's illegal, but... I that's illegal for uh, a mother with five kids. Ma'am, not everybody grows up like you, white girl. No, nope, not everybody. Everybody struggles out here. There's a lot of people out here struggling. They probably got even seven kids living in a two-bedroom. But this is what this is a learning lesson. If this is real, all right, which I don't think it's real. I think this shit is fake and scripted. But this is an eye opener for everybody that is supporting CJ so cool and supported this relationship. This is exactly what you should be listening to. This is a white girl that sounds privileged, entitled, and is talking shit about people that are struggling. All right, there is many people. That are five, six, seven, eight people living in a two bedroom. All right. And the fact she says, oh, this is illegal. It's like, damn, girl, when did you start working for the feds or the police? Like talking about this. She got the whole fucking notebook right there. Right. She's probably documenting all the infractions. Right. That CJ So Cool has been doing. All right. This is an OSHA violation. Oh, OK. He's treating the kids like that. It might be child abuse, child neglect. Just, I just, we just can't compare each other, okay? It's like night and day. I just, we can't do it. I am not comparing myself to you. I will not go back and forth with you. To me, you are pure trash. You do the best you can, but it just is what it is. I'm sorry, but it's just. You're p pure trash? What? Damn, I thought this video was about Lexi. Why is she already spending this amount of time talking shit about royalty? But no. This is what I've been saying all along. This is to continue the drama. They need... This is all scripted, man. All of this is part of a bigger plan. CJ So Cool needs these views. He needs the drama to continue. All right, CJ So Cool is eventually going to drop a video and say, you know, and they're all going to probably get back together. So that's just, that's just the reality of the situation. Um, Lexi can't survive without CJ So Cool. Her broke ass... Ain't doing real estate. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. Probably OnlyFans or some other shit. Modeling. But she needs CJ so cool. Come on now. Cut it out. This shit is fake. How I feel. So I pray for you. And I hope you heal. I hope you do good on this journey called life. And yeah, that's it. I will not talk about you. Just like I don't at all. I always mind my business. But today, the business is minding me. Let me just tell you guys something my last relationship i always cooked for him cooking is my love language i love to cook it's very therapeutic the moment i just start chopping fruit and vegetables and cooking meat ma'am nobody gives a fuck about your cookings honestly speaking see people watch me because i'm raw all right i don't sugarcoat it I just say what I feel like saying. Whatever the fuck comes to my mind, I say it. Nobody gives a fuck about your cookings. Nobody gives a fuck about your previous relationship. All right, just get to it. All right, but I know she's trying to drag it and like, come on, nobody gives a fuck about your cooking. So honestly, I don't really find her cookings to be all that great. CJ So Cool is just a simp. It just puts me in like a focused state and it's therapeutic to me. I've always cooked for my man. It's not a bad thing. I mean, there's very successful chefs. Maybe I can go to chef school, but let me tell you this. This video, I am a chef. I have a lot of recipes and I have a lot of receipts of things. I. So now you're a chef. I thought she did fucking real estate. Now you're a chef. Now you're a cook. 
am the evidence queen. I am like legally blonde when it comes to this. Okay, so I have just stayed quiet so long in this relationship. I have been thrown left to right. I have had disloyal shit happen to me. I have had this person send sexual text messages to my friends behind my back. DMs too, multiple times, and I've still forgiven this person. But I think just enough is enough. You know, like when enough is enough, it's enough because it's enough. Now, let me say this, right? You know that... Like, we can talk about CJ so cool is this and that or whatever, but CJ so cool in terms of valuation, right? In terms of valuing the type of person you're with. He is, he's what we would consider a high value man. He's a high value man. I'm sure you guys, if you, if you watched like Kevin Samuels, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, he's really talked about this whole high value concept. CJ Soku is a high value man. Like however you want to chop it up, you know, we know him with all the drama and all the relationship shit and all this stuff that's been going down, uh, down with the, you know, the whole back and forth. But at the end of it all, he's still what we would consider a high value man. So high value man typically do this so what she is trying to say is uh he he's dming other girls or her friends that's normal that is normal behavior all right so you if you've been with other high value man she should have known that this is pretty normal but she's probably never been with any high value man she's probably been with a bunch of bums before and she cooked for those bumps which means she's a bum girlfriend herself I'm almost speechless, which is why I had to write this down because being talking in front of a camera, um, yeah, Hustle's crying in the background, and baby, I am crying too. You've seen it. I'm crying too, okay? Life happens. We're good though. When I got into this relationship, I was mentally healed from my last relationship. I had been focusing on myself for a year, and I was ready to accept anyone that I met and liked. So when I met CJ, um, yes, it was a lot of drama. I have endured. She said, man, cut this cap out. She said, I was willing to accept anyone. No, the fuck you were not. You were not willing to accept anyone. You accepted CJ so cool. It's not like, not, is, is that like supposed to be like a jab at CJ so cool? Saying like, I, I was just willing to accept anyone. I just accepted CJ so cool. Because CJ so cool is just not anyone either. All right, like we said, I mean, he's a value man. We call it, like, call it, call it spade for a spade, man. I mean, like I said, we can, like, clown him all day. We can say all this shit about him, all this drama he's doing, all these baby moms, whatever. But he's still a high value man, right? He's not just anyone. So when she's like, oh, I was just willing to accept anyone, and I just took him, CJ, so cool, like, cut that bullshit out so much drama since the day i met him since the day the internet found out about us and i've always been in drama because i feel like i've been very popular and confident that people like to attack me and try to tear me down but it's never worked it's always just been in my favor life in general i've just been favored all this bullshit she's talking about is all irrelevant cooking um you know, picking somebody to be with just anyone and dealing with drama. You didn't have to be in the position you wanted. To, you were in a right. So if you didn't want, if you weren't comfortable with the drama, you weren't comfortable being in the spotlight, you could have got your ass off the stage. You could have left at any point. So these are all excuses. So this is why, like, she needs to just get to the meat of the story. All this, like, fluff she's talking about is all irrelevant. That This is, like, just shit what Karens typically say in a relationship. You know, when they finally break up, they get kicked out or whatever. Or they decide they just can't do it. That's not really for them. So they start bringing all this old-ass shit that they learned or ex got exposed to early on that nobody gives a fuck about. Nobody gives a fuck about all this shit. Highly favored. Yeah, and I've, I've just lived a blessed life even before meeting CJ. I had a lot of material things, and material things I see don't mean shit to me anymore. And I know for CJ it doesn't mean shit to them, because at the end of the day, when you have nothing, who is there for you? That's what this video is about. At the end of the day, when everything crumbles, who do you go to? And I am always that go-to person. And I think that's the problem about me, is that I just randomly cry because I just can't. But it's not a problem. Here we go again with that crying, man. That crying stuff, by the way, it doesn't fade me at all. It doesn't phase me at all because white girls, Karens, that's what I'm going to say, Karens, they love to pull that crying card. 
So this is something you guys, um, a lot of you watch this stuff and you get emotional with the crying. You can't let this distract you. This is all distractions. This shit does not faze me because so far all this shit she's talked about is all fucking baloney. It's irrelevant. Like she still hasn't gotten to what it is. What is the fucking problem? All this fluff, you could have decided not to be in the relationship. If you couldn't handle the drama, if you can't handle being in the fucking spotlight, then get the fuck off the stage. Problem, but it's something I need to work on. It's, I did this in my past relationship too, is I just tend to forgive and I just forgive too much. When I love someone, I pour 110% into them. And it's just my fault that I let myself slip away, but it's also my fault that I forgive so much. But I like to forgive and I don't like to just dwindle on it because nothing will work if you don't get over it, you know? So, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna read you something in my notes and um it's just kind of like of what i a little description oh, it's kind of a little description of what i went through and just kind of me defending myself and everyone can see it that's why i've just stayed silent because actions show look at my doggy in the back hi baby he's always got my back and that's why he will be forever my best friend i love my dog <laughs> but anyway i just want to say what i wrote in my notes because i really Honestly, I don't give a fuck about, like, her, this video is just complete bogus bullshit at this point. Um, she knew what she was getting herself into. You can clearly see this man has two other baby moms. What the fuck did you think you were getting yourself into? Like, if you didn't want a bad boy, then you could have got yourself a good boy. And then you would not feel the way you feel now. So, like I said, all this shit at this point is just baloney. I mean this. Not only do I go above and beyond for those that I love, but I show my love with actions. In one year, I have endured a lifetime of drama, toxicity, and pain. And <laughs> my dog <laughs> can witness this, but let me let him out so he stops crying. Come on, baby, come. Right, come here, baby. It's okay. Come here. Come here. My dog gets upset. Like, dogs know when you're emotional, they can feel it ten times, so I try not to show my emotions because my dog does really feel it, but back to the subject not only did i go above and beyond for those that i love but i show my love with actions in one year i have endured a lifetime of drama toxic so i'm curious because I, I just saw that smooth transition when the dog like interrupted and she got up and then she went back down smooth transition smooth editing so who edited this video somebody's got the like this this room is well lit up so, like, somebody knows what they're doing. So, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's probably at CJ So Cool's uh, house. Because, like, can she do editing? Can she do camera, like, lighting and all that stuff? And pain. Just because of the name I was attached to. CJ So Cool. I dealt with a whole lot in the name of love. I was there 24-7 when CJ got shot. He gave everything he needed and more to easy his workload. I made sure he was good in any and every way, be even becoming a mother figure to his beautiful children. I invested my time and effort into making sure those babies were well taken care of when at their dads. I cooked and cleaned for them, picked out their clothes for them when they went to school. I was there to pick them up when they fell and comfort them. The list goes on. While doing all that, I made sure my man was good catered to and needed for nothing i didn't take from the relationship but simply i just added to it people want to say i was doing too much for my man and they would never but that's what sets me apart from all the others cj never gets the point of things he never can just man up and simply say sorry but for the hurtful stuff he's done he's just sometimes a bit slow at that stuff but one day a man will appreciate what i do so much that he will want to give me the world and i know it will be for me these are just Sometimes things just come into your life either as lessons or blessings. And I take CJ coming to my life as both. Going back to a few things. Um, I don't know what man's going to give you the world because I know a bunch of men don't want used cars. And when I say used cars, I mean used women. Some people don't like to go inside a woman that's been like treated like an open buffet at this point so i mean it seems like she's got a high turnover in terms of boyfriends so i mean something is wrong with her all right and so far all i'm hearing is cj so cool's flaws like you did all this and you didn't do it for free ma'am you got paid all right you didn't even mention so far she hasn't mentioned anything cj so cool has done for her all right, and we've seen him spend, boy, we've seen him spend. 
all right, Gucci store, Louis Vuitton store, Prada, Dior, it's like, come on, man, all the traveling, all the dining out, her using his cars, right, she got that, she drove a bummy ass Audi, man, a bummy ass, he's talking about, oh, I used to be with all these other men before, then why are you driving a bum ass Audi, all right, that old, outdated Audi, she's now driving the Lambo Urus. CJ has a very big issue with messaging my friends sexual things behind my back. November 13th of last year, he did it. Um, my friend reached out to me, letting me know right away. And I'm just blessed to have her as a friend because... Well, maybe your friend can swallow milk. And maybe you can't swallow milk. So he's a high value man. All right. And if he wants something that you can't do, he's going to find somebody else that can do it or can do it better than you. That's just the way it is. Right. This is why I said, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go watch like Kevin Samuels. He used to talk about this high value concept. Right. Some a lot of people didn't like it, didn't like what he would say. But a lot of it is true. All right. When you are at that status, you can do a lot. There's more leverage for you, all right? And she she's just had to accept it. She is complaining and whining so far. If you don't want this fucking lifestyle, if you cannot handle this stage, get off the fucking stage and get you like a good boy that works like, I don't know what it is, eight to four, nine to five, whatever the saying is. I see people out there and people do go behind your back. I'm so thankful for her loyalty and so thankful she told me because you know it's just you want to know things you want to know what someone i sleep with this person every night but i want to know if they're doing something disloyal to me you know emotionally cheated behind my back talking sexual um is i'm definitely not okay with it and that is why i was awarded these two van cleave bracelets um during november 13th uh because of his mistakes and I did forgive him maybe one too many times, but I did not forget. Moving on to the next thing. You know, I think it's funny. I think it's it's not funny. It's actually pathetic. It's rude. It's embarrassing. And it's not true because I am not only a chef, but I am your woman. Damn, man. I hope that book is not all about CJ. That damn book is like, it's got to be like a fucking thousand pages. That's like a dictionary. Even... If we weren't together, like, for example, CJ just had the surprise party. I just found out he messaged, she's messaged my friend multiple times saying sexual things, and I brought it up to him the other day. I would say I knew about it for a week, but I just wanted to let it, you know, simmer and get all the info on everything. He had messaged my friend sexual things, another friend of mine sexual things, uh, multiple times. She said, I was quiet about it. I was silent. I was just getting all the info. She was just conducting her investigation, collecting evidence like, damn, CJ, this is this. This is a learning lesson about why you should not be dating a white girl. See, like royalty, man, royalty was gold, right? Royalty did not do half of this shit, did not do half of this shit. He's only been with Lexi a short period of time. And this girl got a fucking dictionary with evidence. I don't know about y'all, but I count that as uh, emotionally cheating in my book. So I don't run with it. I'm not okay with it. I don't condone it. And I think it's disrespectful. I had brought it up to him, and not in an attacking way, because I've learned from my past, and I'd rather just want to know why people do such hurtful things instead of attack them and call them names. I just want to know why people do it. I just simply brought it up to him, and he just shut me out and told me to get out. You, you want to know why? I, I thought you would know why. He's a high-value man. He's a multi-millionaire. He has a significant amount of influence. He's not... Most men at that level are not going to just want one pussy. They're going to want to sample it. And I don't know, like, I do this too. I don't know if some other guys do this. But, like, even if I'm, like, with somebody, I like to explore their network, right? So he probably wanted to check out what girls her friends work is sometimes like you you get one or two friends and they're like damn that were real bad i want to probably sample that too that's the leverage you have when you got money when you reach that amount of success you can explore things 
which is why I've always had a house and I've never fully moved in with him. Yes, I had my clothes and everything there and we lived together all the time. I would come home um, to, you know, take care of my dog, visit my mom, but I never fully moved back. I moved out before New Year's because we had some issues going on, but I never fully moved back in. And I, I said to myself when I brought this up to him that if his reaction was not something I like and if he wasn't apologetic about it, that this would be my last time ever, um, you know, dealing with him and being in a relationship with him because I, I, it's just not right for me and I, I value myself and I'm a high value person and I just won't put up with that. I can't, I can't um, money cannot make me do that. Respect is what attracts me. Yeah, he basically just disregarded it, manipulated me and um, didn't talk to me and just shut me up. But the next day was his birthday and I did have the surprise party planned and I just feel like he just just so ungrateful for everything because yes he's a successful person he's had yo that is weird so you're telling me you're gonna have a surprise party go to the surprise party make it seem all jokes and laughter and fun and then the next day you're gonna get on video and cry damn that's like some that's some psycho ass shit, man. That is some psycho. That's like them crazy horror stories you guys be watching where it'll be like two best friends that are laughing, having fun, and then they go around the next day and stab you right in the back. Like that is some fucking mind psychological warfare or something. You're telling me you were at the party laughing, like what we saw, right? Happy. You're so happy. This is my man. I'm here with all his best friends. We're at the store having a great time. And the next day, I'm going to make a video and cry and pull out this fucking, I don't know what the hell it is, like a dictionary. It's like a whole book of investigative work and evidence she's been collecting on him um, to prepare for a day where she can use it against him. That is some crazy shit, man. That is some wild ass shit everything he's done everything but for me i think meaningful memories are um what sticks with me the most so having the surprise party i never want to ruin someone's um, special day so i just stayed strong and i continued to do the surprise party um i was on my way to get him stuff for his birthday on top of the party because I, of course i like to do what i can for someone i love but um when i seen screenshots i just didn't say anything i didn't get any gifts my gift was the party and um i just feel like uh, i can't do anymore for someone who just can't respect me behind closed doors or just when i'm not around you know and i, I feel like a lot of people can relate to this so i want to let them know that you know it, even if you are a good person and people do you wrong just continue being good because i in my life has always been blessed because i've been a really good person and i've shown nothing but love i welcomed everyone around him and i I don't know that I agree with what she's saying like that right there. What she is saying would make me feel like I'm fake. If I have to continue on and make up like have the party and get you the gifts and whatever, make it make your birthday memorable or whatever, like whatever she was doing and planning and preparing and all that. And then the next day, two days later, I sit on video and just start crying and pull out my my book my diaries or whatever the fuck you want to call this, her in investigative uh, booklet. I don't know. That would make me feel like I'm fake. Like, why would I laugh in your face two days ago and then, and then I'm on video telling all your fans the abuse I've gone through and you cheating on me? And it's just like, don't you guys think that that would be like kind of like having a fake personality or something like that? It's just weird find that weird like if i'm not if you're not happy don't go to the extreme length of like having and planning his party and all that just stop when it, whenever you feel like this is not working that's when you stop you don't just continue on and on and on like at this point it just feels like um this is one-sided i mean it is one-sided this is just her story so we don't know CJ so cool side of the story. And the fact she waited this long and she talks about this example about his birthday, which is just recent. Like this shit was like a couple of days ago. And now she's crying on video. It's like, 
I'm getting this vibe that she got multiple personalities, right? So he must have been dealing with somebody that's got multiple personalities, and he probably couldn't even keep up with her multiple personalities. You can't tell me that two, three days ago you were laughing, smiling on video, and the next day you are crying on video? That is fucking weird, man. That's some fake shit. I don't know. That's some acting shit at this point. Um, But we're going to wrap up here for part one. I'm not trying to make these videos an hour long, these reaction videos. So we'll probably do a part two. I think we can definitely wrap it up in part two. So let me know what you guys think so far in the comment section about this. Um, I know some of you guys watch this. I think a lot of people in general, they get thrown off with the crying. You got to remember you're dealing with a Karen. So the crying is pretty standard in all these situations. So you cannot, these are all distractions. You got to listen to what is being said and then go off of that. Don't get distracted with the crying, the toilet paper and all that goofy shit that's going on, right? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section.